So, Heavy Cavalry in Warhammer 2 has not been at its best for a little while, but recently a patch came out for Warhammer 2 along with a Cavalry Fix Beta. But has it actually fixed anything? Well, we're going to test some Cavalry versus Infantry charging into each other matchups and see what the difference is on the old patch versus this Cavalry Fix Beta. It's as simple as that, so let's get on with it. Now this first matchup is one from one of my Why You Lost videos the other day. Some Chillgeists charged into Forsaken and they took a hell of a lot of damage from a kind of half-assed Forsaken charge. So that should look something like this. This is on the old patch of the game. And this seems a bit silly because the Chillgeists have that 75% physical resistance, which means that even though the Forsaken do have a big 60 weapon strength, they're probably only going to do about 15 damage with each swing because of that 75 physical resistance. But as we can see, these Chillgeists have lost about a third to half of their health from a Forsaken charge. And then fighting for a few seconds and getting out of there, this is how much they've lost. It's quite a lot more than they should really be losing. Now the same test on the Cavalry Fix Beta. Let's see if the Chillgeists take any less damage. Hopefully they should. And it looks good. The green bars stay in pretty full. Leave them there for a few seconds and then pull them away. And that looks much better. Only losing maybe a quarter of their health, if that, a fifth, perhaps. But certainly looking better in that engagement. Forsaken not doing so much damage to the 75% physical resistance. Chillgeists. Alright, what about the Empire Reichsguard charging into Black Orcs? This again is back onto the old patch now, so this is how things were before. Or technically, actually, it is still on the main patch. The game is the same way. It's only on this Cavalry Fix Beta has the Cavalry changes been implemented. So you will still be having those bad charges if you're not on the Cavalry Beta. And as we can see, these Reichsguard taking so much damage. Nearly half health gone pretty much instantly from Black Orcs, which is somewhat expected, right? They're Black Orcs, they hit hard. This is what they do. But still, it seems like a little much. These units down to less than half now. About a third left, even less for some of them. They've been pretty badly beaten up, which you would kind of expect, but not this bad. They are Reichsguard. They do cost about the same as the Black Orcs. Okay, back to the Cavalry Fix Beta. Have they been fixed? Charging into Black Orcs. Let's see. Definitely taking less damage on the charge. They lost about half their health instantly, but as you can see, they're nowhere near that now. Let them fight for a few seconds and get them out. Obviously, these tests aren't perfect. I'm not holding them there for a specific amount of time. It's just kind of a few seconds and then getting them out. But that looks much better. The Ruxguard look much healthier after that engagement. Although they haven't done a ton of damage to the Black Orcs because it's not a great target for them with no armor piercing. But definitely an improvement to the Ruxguard charge health. Okay, now for some questing knights for Bretonia charging into Saurus Warriors. Another hard-hitting infantry, although not armor-piercing, so certainly less dangerous than Black Orcs. A mid-tier unit. This is the old patch again. Let's see how much damage these questing knights take. Not a crazy amount quickly. They do have a fair amount of armor. But after a few seconds of fighting, they're not looking too great. They are a melee cavalry though, so they're designed a little bit more for staying in melee. They have better melee defense than most shock cavalries. So about half health just over for a lot of these units. Let's see if there's any difference on the new patch. Charge comes in. Not really any damage taken for the questing knight straight away. Surviving much better. Fighting for a few seconds. Getting out of there. Maybe a little less time than they did the first time, but not a huge difference on this one. Definitely less damage, and less damage taken on the charge. So if they got straight out of there instead of hanging around, they'd probably be better off and would have done a good bit of damage to the enemy regardless of not staying there very long. How about some Centigors? Lightly armored, generally don't do too well being charged. But let's face them off just against Chaos Marauders. This is on the old patch. This is how much damage they used to take, or technically still do take, if you're not on the Cavalry Fix Beta. Quite a lot. Nearly down to half health already from a low tier unit, I should mention. Chaos Marauders, not the strongest unit in the world. Not the weakest by any means in terms of melee power. They can hit quite often with their decent melee attack. But still, Centigors cost way more than them, so they should not be taking this kind of damage. This is not a great exchange for them. So let's try it now on the new beta and see if it helps at all. 
Charging into those Marauders. Boom. Way less damage taken on the charge. They're in much better health. Leaving them fighting for a few seconds and getting them out. That looks much better. Seems like a big improvement for them. Certainly less damage taken on this run than the first run. So that's good for the Centicles. Makes them a little bit more effective. They generally are regarded as a little bit underpowered and useless, I think. But now they should be much better. At least against infantry. And what about another light cavalry or lighter cavalry in the Stag Knight? 60 armor, not bad, but not great. Certainly not the 100 or so of a lot of heavy cavs. So they can be a little bit fragile. Going to charge into Bestigal though. So a big, heavy hitting, armor piercing bunch of boys. This is on the old patch. And as you can see, they are taking a lot of damage. Down to half health already. Leaving them fighting for a few seconds, then getting them out. They are taking a serious pounding. They don't have the armor for this. Of course, Bestigor, pretty dangerous unit, but still, you wouldn't think it would be this bad for them. But I mean, stags are generally designed not to be charged themselves. They're great at charging, but they don't really want to be charged by anything. Cavalry, infantry, monsters, they don't take charge as well. But are they any better off in the new cavalry fix beta? Let's find out. Same thing, Bestigor, charge. Definitely less damage, way less damage. A quarter health gone now. Still taking a fair bit of damage, but certainly not as much as before. Although that felt like maybe less time than I put them in for the first time, so perhaps not quite as fair as it might seem, but they certainly seem better off. They didn't take as much damage on the charge after like five seconds or so. They looked way better, so definitely seems like this cavalry beta is helping. So that's good. The cavalry seems a little bit more useful than it once was. But the thing with this cavalry beta is that it hasn't actually fixed a bunch of the bugs that were in the game. So you get the fixed cavalry, but you still have the crappy bugs. If you play on the live version, you have the bugs fixed, but you don't have this cavalry beta. So you kind of can't get the best of both worlds at the moment. But as long as this cavalry beta goes well, I believe in a couple of weeks, we should see it added into the main part of the game where we'll have the bug fixes and the cav... Well, it won't be a beta at that point. The cab beta will be put into the game and just be part of the game. So I did test if there was any breaking of anything else, though. I tried cavalry on cavalry, cavalry on monstrous infantry, cavalry on single large monster to see if that made any difference. Because obviously when you change something big like the cavalry versus infantry fight, you do ask the question, OK, you fixed one thing, but are you going to break another thing? So I did test other things. Seemed fine, though. Cavalry versus cavalry and cavalry versus monsters seemed OK. But how well it's really going to work is just going to be told over time with more people playing and getting experience with it. But with cavalry becoming slightly more effective in an area, it does mean that infantry are now slightly less effective in an area. Which kind of hurts infantry because they're already kind of only half useful. So in making cavalry a bit stronger now, we have made infantry a little bit weaker. Whether that has any big massive connotations, we shall see. But for now... Seems okay. Seems like a good change that will make heavy cavalry much more useful and be able to take some charges against infantry rather than dying far quicker than they probably should. But there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. See you in the future.